All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm doing some voiceover work. I uh, recorded this video and didn't realize that I didn't record any audio from my mic. So that is uh, fantastic. But we are back today in Starfield. We're going to do our best to go along with the video as I recorded it. Um, but we're back in Starfield today to prepare another uh, vanilla Starship build. Uh, I have taken about a month or a month and a week or so off from building ships. Um, just remember to uh, like, subscribe, and share down below. And uh, we will go over today's uh, ship build, which is a ship that I call the Lady of Iron. Um, she is inspired by the Helldivers 2 uh, dropship. It's a game that I have been playing uh, quite a bit. Uh, over the last couple of weeks. Very fun game. Highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, this is the Iron Lady. I did my best to sort of approximate a vanilla ship build here in Starfield to uh, mimic that of the ships in Helldivers uh, 2. So, uh, but we will go over this ship. Uh, my, I don't know what I was saying while I was recording this because I'm definitely standing and staring at the ship for an inordinate amount of time. I'm sure I was saying something very, very interesting. Um, but, wow, this is a really long intro for me standing and staring at the ship. Uh, but it is a Class B ship. It's a Class B, has a Class B reactor, has a Class B uh, grav drive, and, but it does have Class A engines so that it goes really, really fast. Um, and so this is where I'm going to do the walk around. And you can kind of see there where I tried to mimic the uh, under-mounted uh, cockpit or deck area of the uh, Helldivers 2 ship and the you know, uh, equipment array that comes over the top. Uh, not as many things or assets here in Starfield for us to use to utilize that. Um, but that is what we ended up with, and I think it looks really good. Even though it may not look exactly like a Helldivers 2 ship, um, I think it looks cool in general as a starship. Um, and uh, Helldivers 2 has really kind of helped me maybe reignite some of my passions for uh, building ships. Because, uh, man, I built like, I bet I built 40 ships in about two, two and a half months. Um, and a lot of you saw them. I was uploading two ships a week there for a couple of weeks and uh, that's kind of why I took a break man I uh I really played a lot of Starfield when it first came out and uh, it was really great for for making YouTube content because I really enjoy making ships and uh creative content and sharing it with you and it gave me an opportunity to do that uh but I'm also trying to branch out and play other games uh this is a a gaming channel uh so I kind of want to play a variety of games I'm doing a New Vegas playthrough, uh, not getting a lot of traffic, but you know, I don't really mind because uh, I was going to be playing it anyway, so I might as well record it, put it up on YouTube, maybe maybe someday someone will watch it. But we're going to go inside here, and you can see we've just got ourselves a hab with a galley and some sleeping, a companionway with our docker here, and uh, then of course here we have a nice uh, Viking uh, cockpit right there. Um, very simple layout, streamlined. Uh, there's a couple ways you might be able to expand this. Uh, maybe put a 3 by one instead of the 2 by one and uh, have a little more living space. Or maybe put two 2 by ones in there instead and have a workshop and your cockpit will be a little bit further forward. Um, but yeah, you could probably uh, do different things if you really want to with a ship like this. Uh, but this was this sort of closest approximation to the Helldivers 2 uh, ship. So um, hopefully uh, I stop running around like a moron and head up to the cockpit and get in the seat. Uh, don't remember what exactly I was saying Looks at good. this point either. Boy, it's going on way longer than it really should. Uh, but here we go. Nope, he's not going to the seat yet. He's going to stand there for a second. Um, maybe we'll do the seat now. Yep, there we go. Now we're going to now we're going to go take off and uh, have a really good look at this ship in flight. So. All right, let's see what's out there. 
right, now we're taking off. Very good looking ship, very streamlined, very sleek. Uh, a lot of fun to build the ship. Uh, I really enjoy uh, that design. Um, I call this the Iron Lady, but if you're this far into the, show, into the video, I really like to call my ship in Helldivers 2, and this ship is secretly known as the Iron Bitch. So that's what I love about her. She's just a, a big old meanie and gives gives what for to the bad guys. That's what I think. Um, but yeah, here we got ourselves a nice uh, panoramic. Um, ship just looks good. It's very streamlined, and, uh, very, very comfortable, and uh, I think looks really cool while it's in flight. Uh, the, the, the profile lines on it match up a lot with the Helldivers 2 ship. Um, just looks cool looks very militaristic and uh, very utilitarian so I'm assuming that here shortly I'm going to say hey we're gonna switch over to the uh, build menu and that is what we're gonna do I'm probably not going to do a voiceover for the build menu so you guys can just watch along it's a fairly simple and easy build uh, but this is all from editing Ozzy uh, at this part of the video. So we will see you guys here in just a few minutes. Hey, it's editing Ozzy again. It looks like we're back here in the build menu. And I'm uh, scrolling around showing you some stuff. Uh, yeah, just uh, pay attention and uh, there's the things you need. <laughs> And uh, I remember I was going over all that stuff, but you should be able to read it on screen. So uh, enjoy the uh, quick build guide, and we will see you at the end of the video.
Okay, guys, it's Editing Ozzy back with a little bit of voiceover. Uh, I really just wanted to thank you all for coming along today and uh, looking at this uh, custom ship that I've built. Uh, it's been real fun. Again, remember to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You know the deal. Click all the buttons. Um, we're having a lot of fun over here, and uh, we're glad that you're along for the ride. So thanks again for stopping by. Uh, it's always a good time here.